Welcome to Imperial CAD system. In this video, I'll explain how to use cylindrical joint in DMU Kinematics CATIA V5. To go to DMU Kinematics, go to Start, Digital Mockup, DMU Kinematics. Here in kinematics toolbar you can see here cylindrical joint for this we need two parts i call the part in this workbench insert existing component product Select on the product. I select the shaft. I go for open. Then I call another part insert existing component select on the product I call this caller into the DMU workbench now you can move these parts by using this compass See, you can move like this or vertically, let it be like this. Horizontally, you can translate. So, I place at the end only. Then, I move this compass, let it be. Okay, let it be like that. Then, First fix the component, select fix component, then new mechanism, here you need to select new mechanism, go for ok, then select on this shaft, this shaft will be fixed, you can see fix symbol here, then go to cylindrical joint simulation option, line 1, this axis you need to you need to select two axis line two this collar axis then angle driven and the length driven both should be checked on then go for ok here the popper should be seen showing the mechanism can be simulated now you can simulate this part the part collar Along this cylindrical surface, along this cylindrical shaft, it rotates and also it translates onto the shaft. Then how to simulate? Here we have simulation option in the animation toolbar. Just do select that one. Here you can see rotation and translation. See I move this bar. See, the collar is being rotated. See, like this. Then I move this second taskbar length driven. See, this side. There is no shaft to the right side. I reset this. Then it, it is in initial position. This is clockwise and anti clockwise. I move this taskbar now see here the collar has been moved along the cylindrical surface but it is not covered to the entire surface the max limit this side is a minus 100 mm so i want to increase to its left side another 20 mm 30 mm we can increase for that do select reset option first 
then open this option this select on this tab minus 100 I enter here minus 120 then go for ok now see just drag this taskbar up to the end then drag this taskbar up to the end then go for insert option here this represents the speed see this is play button if you select play button see see slowly it should rotate and it should translate then in that case what we need to do is reduce here speed click on here in the, on this option I select 0 0.01 then I go for play now you can able to see on the screen that rotates as well as it translate here change loop I select this loop one time I selected then see what happens it rotates and translates see like this to and fro if you increase page over here I select 0 0.04 see here then I select this loop mode once again then see in only one direction you can see I reduce the speed see like this then pause this then go for ok now you can see that simulation option under application mechanism you can see joints then simulation option open this open this see to simulate again just do double click on that now that appears then go for play select second option in this loop how oh, we need to reduce the speed now this is the way we need to use this cylindrical joint in dmu kinematics thanks for watching this video for more videos share and subscribe imperial cat system